The Beverly Hillbillies, a classic TV sitcom that aired in the 1960s, humorously depicts the adventures of a backwoods family that strikes oil and moves to upscale Beverly Hills. Over the years, the show's cast brought to life the endearing Clampett family and their quirky neighbors, leaving a lasting legacy on TV history. This list pays tribute to 20 actors from the Beverly Hillbillies who have passed away, honoring their contributions and the timeless laughter they provided to audiences across generations. Jack Bannon in the sitcom he played Bob. In 1964, when he was in the series, he was 24, and sadly passed away on October 25, 2017, at 77. Story. Hi there, Granny. Mr. Clampett. Howdy, Dash. Larry Pano in the sitcom he played Dash Rip Rock. In 1965, when he was in the series, he was 37 and sadly passed away on August 28, 2013, at 85. Dash Rip Rock. According to this, your name is Homer Noodleman. <laughs> well, uh, that was my name when I was pumping gas in Peoria. Nancy Comp in the series she played Jen Hathaway. In 1962, when she was in the series, she was 41, and sadly she passed away on February 3rd, 1991, at 69. <laughs> Lieutenant, I, I am terribly sorry. Mr. Drysdale's been in a foul mood ever since interest rates went down. <laughs> James Westerfield, in the sitcom he played Mayor Amos Wentworth Hawk. In 1967, when he was in the series, he was 54, and sadly passed away on September 20th, 1971, at 58. Buddy Epson in the sitcom he played Jack Clampett. In 1962, when he was in the series, he was 54, and sadly passed away on July 6, 2003, at 95. He's awful nice to have. I'm getting it. And he's too busy taking care of our critters now. A gorilla can do that for her. Gorilla. Irene Ryan in the sitcom she plays Daisy Moses. In 1962, when she was in the series, she was 60 years old, and sadly she passed away on April 26, 1973, at 70 years old. Sure is big and stout, ain't he, Granny? Here's to be if he ain't all hair. <laughs> Phil Silvers in the sitcom he plays Shifty Shaffer, aka Honest John. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 58, and sadly passed away on November 1st, 1985, at 74. Will be president of Schaefer Enterprises Incorporated. I can't. Now, I want one of your finest for Sharon Tate, in the series she played Janet Trego. In 1963, when she was in the series, she was 20 years old, and sadly she passed away on August 9, 1969, at 26. No, should I? Well, yeah, I should too, but I don't, then. If you wait, I'll hunt something for you. <laughs> what do you say, Chief? Phil Gordon, in the sitcom he played Jasper DePew. In 1962, when he was in the series, he was 46 and sadly passed away on June 15, 2010, at 94. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, and pretty too. Ooh I bet you're an arm full of mama. I'm me. Alvia Allman, in the sitcom she plays Alverna Bradshaw. In 1963, when she was in the series, she was 59, and sadly she passed away on March 6, 1992, at 87. Of all people! I just had a lovely visit with Mr. Clampett and that poor, sweet, unfortunate spinster granddaughter of yours. Donna Douglas in the sitcom she plays Ellie Mae Clampett. In 1962, when she was in the series, she was 30 years old, and sadly she passed away on January 1st, 2015, at 82. Don't tell her. Giant, don't shoot her! <laughs> well, I got him used to that the animal form. He's my new pet. Some pet. He Kathleen Freeman in the sitcom she played Flo Schaffer. In 1963, when she was in the series, she was 44, and sadly she passed away on August 23rd, 2001, at 82. Where's the ring? I hocked it. <laughs> What'd you get? Sandbox. <laughs> oh, it's a clip. Percy Houghton in the sitcom he plays Homer Cratchit. In 1968, when he was in the series, he was 74, and sadly he passed away on September 11, 1971, at 77. He's in there, boys. Be careful. He's armed. All right, Charlie. 
Roy Roberts in the sitcom he played John Cushing. In 1963, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on May 28, 1975, at 69. The fine of $100 is suspended. Now, please, take your seats! Louis Nye, in the sitcom he plays Sonny Tristel. In 1962, when he was in the series, he was 49 and sadly passed away on October 9, 2005, at 92. Frank Cady in the sitcom he plays Sam Drucker. In 1968, when he was in the series, he was 53 and sadly passed away on June 8, 2012, at 96. Yeah, that's fun. You know, that leg art really sells papers, especially in big cities like Pixley and Blue Spring. Fine <laughs> Richard Deacon in the sitcom he played Dr. George Klinger. In 1967, when he was in the series, he was 45, and sadly passed away on August 8, 1984, at 62. He's a lieutenant in the United States Navy. <laughs> Miss Hathaway said you had a problem, and you do. <laughs> Harriet E. McGibbon, in the sitcom she played Mrs. Margaret Tristel. In 1962, when she was in the series, she was 57, and sadly she passed away on February 8, 1987, at 81. Expensive too. <laughs> Everyone they could put the bite on. Charles Lane in the sitcom plays Fort Finney. In 1963, when he was in the series, he was 58 and sadly passed away on July 9, 2007, at 102. Star, star, Might I ask you to autograph my slip? Who do you girls think you're kidding? Oh, Scruggs in the sitcom plays himself. In 1963, when he was in the series, he was 39 and sadly passed away on March 28, 2012, at 88. Um, happy uh, as uh, I think we better stop this song because Yonah comes away. Yeah, they're jealous of Pearl as it is. Well, they... B. Bernadette, in the sitcom she played Cousin Pearl Bodine. In 1962, when she was in the series, she was 56 and sadly she passed away on October 13, 1968, at 62. And he tried to lure me to his couch. <laughs> well, he does that with everybody. He's a psychiatrist. Yeah, he admitted that to me. I told him he ought to try to get himself cured. Kurt Massey in the sitcom he plays Officer Massey. In 1963, when he was in the series, he was 53 and sadly passed away on October 21st, 1991 at 81. Animals, how do you like that? Everybody's protected but bank presidents. <laughs> We're the downtrodden minority. Anybody can pick on us. <laughs> Raymond Bailey, in the sitcom he played Raymond Tristel. In 1962, when he was in the series, he was 58 and sadly passed away on April 15, 1980, at 75. Miss Hathaway, this is a bank, not the USO. Bring it up. Chief, may I present Lieutenant Mark? Chuck Fisher, in the sitcom she played Shorty Callums. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was 61. And sadly, she passed away on March 16, 1984, at 76. Cool. All I gotta do now is take her right. <laughs> what other contest did you enter, anyway? Oh, basket waving and close toe digging and what? Fred Clark, in the sitcom he plays Dr. Roy Clyburn. In 1963, when he was in the series, he was 49 and sadly passed away on December 5, 1968, at the age of 54. <laughs> Maybe by mountain standards, I'm no Tarzan. But I assure you, my Beverly Hills physician is going to be amazed when he examines me this morning. Frank Wilcox, in the sitcom he played John Brewster. In 1962, when he was in the series, he was 55, and sadly he passed away on March 3rd, 1974, at 66. Why would you think? First, I want to thank you for publicly breaking our engagement after I lost my head as I did last night. Oh, shut up. I didn't mean it when I... Lester Flatt, in the sitcom he plays himself, in 1963, when he was in the series, he was 49 and sadly passed away on May 11, 1979, at 64. I know you boys picked out a couple of sweet ones, didn't you? Yes, we did, Jed. Sweet and pretty. If Granny can just learn him to cook, we got herself a... Joy Lansing in the sitcom she plays Gladys Flat. In 1963, when she was in the series, she was 34 and sadly she passed away on August 7, 1972, at 43. 
party tonight. I want to know how I'm going to stack up. <laughs> but we've just spent three hours at the beauty parlor. You look gorgeous. 